Hi, this is Les Hasbargan. This video tutorial shows you how to segment a cloud in Cloud Compare, uh, and then you can export that um, directly into, uh, well, into a LAST file, and then read that into a GIS. So you can get different views here of uh, a topographic profile in Cloud Compare, but we oftentimes want to export um, part of this point cloud for more work. So first we need to segment a part of it and it's a little snipping tool here. And I'm just going to make a little box like this. And then when you're ready to finish just right click. And then we need to segment. And I'll say OK. And notice that we've got two layers now over here for this particular point cloud. And there's our segmented section. Um, and you can look at that then as a topographic profile or just see it from a variety of views. So uh, select the name and then save it. And Ahead and save it as that. And so that's been exported. Now we need to open up Global Mapper. And then we can open that. And uh, if you're working with this kind of a file system, sometimes it takes a little while for. Uh, the cloud-based uh, computing to catch up with you. Anyway, so we need to bring this in as an equa rectangular, and we also need to create an elevation grid from the point cloud that it's reading in, and it's reading in just everything. Uh, so we can accept these, and now it goes through, reads the points, which is much uh, more compact and easier to uh, perform calculations on. So this is what uh, the point cloud now looks like. It's actually an elevation grid. You can shade it um, and uh, just leave it there. And to actually draw a topographic profile, you can use this 3D path profile left click somewhere, right click where you want to end, and it will pull up a topographic profile, which you can then do other things like finding slopes and finding depths, etc. And so I think our channel is somewhere right around here, not very deep. And the elevation there is my, uh, two point, about 25 centimeters. So that might be a little high. The depth might be a little bit lower. So there you go.